Plus, I am my brother, João Gabriel Rocha. I'm so excited for Kazai. It's my jiu-jitsu style. I'm, I'm like more aggressive. Uh, I don't like the position and I do not fight, you know. It's my favorite position, it's guillotine. Uh, I, I put my focus in, in this fight, in the guillotine, and the aggressive pass. I'm so happy for, for this. I'm so excited because Kazai in Dallas. The Dallas is my house now. Okay, I'm from Brazil, but I live here. Let's go, John Combs. I and you, go, I'm going there. One big fight for sure. I'm ready. You go. Let's go. My name is John Combs. I train out of Easton Training Center in Boulder, Colorado. My jiu-jitsu style is wrestling-based with lots of scrambles and a heavy emphasis on the front headlock. I took an opportunity on short notice and I'm ready to make the most of it. I'm very excited to compete in the Premier Grappling Organization. My style is wrestling orientated, but what really separates me from the pack is my heart and endurance. Come watch me mix it up. I'm taking on a super tough opponent. It's going on tonight. It's gonna to be an awesome card. Catch it on Flow Grappling, guys. I guarantee you're gonna like it. All right, Dallas, who's ready for another super fight? Our second super fight is 10 minutes under Kasai points at 180 pounds with a five minute golden score overtime if needed. Introducing to you first, he is a black belt representing double five. He is a nine time Brazilian wrestling champion, Rio State champion, and Brazilian no gi champion, fighting out of Dallas, Texas. Please welcome Pedro Hocha. So Pedro Rocha makes his way to the map this evening. Now based here in Dallas as part of Team Double Five. Got his black belt not all that long ago, but he's had a pretty good competitive career. Has a very heavy wrestling background. Started extensively wrestling at age 14. And his opponent, he is a black belt, representing Amal Easton. He has won the ADCC US West Coast Trials and is also the LA Grand Slam No Gi Champion. Fighting out of Boulder, Colorado, please welcome John Combs. And John Combs joins us on short notice. 28 years old from Eastern Training Center. Got his black belt in 2016. Of course, as you heard, he was the winner of the West Coast ADCC Trials. Unfortunately, ran into DJ Jackson in his very first bout that evening. He's an all-American wrestler before getting into jiu-jitsu. Had a really good last couple of weeks. Took out Cody Steele not that long ago. I think we're going to see a lot of this bout take place on the feet. Very much looking forward to some of these stand-up exchanges. Oh, yeah. And Combs also has an exceptionally good guillotine. So looking to weigh heavy on the head very quickly. making his way through those collar ties very nice he's switching left side right side moving it around going from collar tie to inside tie back and forth rocha has been here in dallas for about five to six months now he said he really enjoys the intense training at that gym it's helping him keep his focus on moving forward with his jiu-jitsu ambitions Still fighting for some dominant grips here. Oh. 
John Combs making no secret of the fact that he's a fan of that front headlock series as well. That was very, a nice underhook there. Very open about what his game is. But as you can see, they're just exchanging grips up top at the moment, trying to find the right angle. Pedro getting that left underhook pretty well. So if he has something to work off there, maybe high crotch or something like this. Combs doing a good job of switching from right side collar tie to left, moving, moving Pedro around a little bit more. See him, see how he's making him walk on those big, heavy steps. Like that's something that he's doing very well that Pedro isn't doing to Combs right now. Pedro to me looks like he wants to shoot from the outside. It's like he wants to just take a hard shot. Yeah, he's got to beat those collar ties though yeah. to do so. He's got a good underhook on that left side, just not really showing anything yet. Combs has got very, very long arms, very broad across his back, big reach. Yeah. And we're going to get a double stalling penalty yeah. here. Now he's in chest to chest there momentarily. <laughs> Trying to win that pummel battle. And there's Cove shooting, and it's the guillotine attempt from Rocha. Big wrestler's bridge from Combs, and he's, is he going to settle on top here and score? Trying to keep those hips down. Rocha yes. trying to sweep. It's a round to the back. I Breaks. mean, he's got to score at least one for the knee. Yeah, to look at that. Beautiful stuff Yeah, by Combs. Really he, following him around the yeah. outside. All started with that initial counter of that guillotine, and he stayed pretty safe the whole time. And unfortunately, finding the edge of the mat means he is only going to score the one point for the yeah. near takedown. But it does put him on the board. But they gave a point penalty as well to Pedro Hosha. Yeah, and we're just waiting for your scoreboard to get fixed uh, quickly. There we go. Just clashed heads there. Yeah. Completely accidental. Just normal. Normal when you're wrestling. <laughs> lead with your forehead, and that's going to happen from time to time. And yeah, keep that chin tucked. A lot of success on the Brazilian wrestling circuit for Pedro Rocha. Now that's going to translate to going against someone like Combs is. Anyone's guess, though, at the moment, Combs is just sort of edging these exchanges. Oh, and now a single for Rocha. Sits, tries to sit him down, drives oh. to the edge of the map. Again, I should reiterate, you can't necessarily see it, but there is a, a matted row on the floor all around this podium. And they give him a point. But they're going to give him a point yep, for it. Yep. He's still technically behind slightly because of the two penalties, but right. it does even him up. And Whoa. that's a nice double. I love the way he arches <laughs> that bridge. Beautiful counter timing. right there. Just the timing that Combs used right there to counter that. And he steps to the inside. He count, look at that oh, leg drag. Oh, lovely leg drag. I mean, we're smooth here. I mean, it's also the appreciation that that was a sensible time yep. to reshoot. Very gonna, nice back step. He's trying to collect the legs. He hasn't actually managed to find a home for his left knee yet. Now yeah. he gets the, the triangle there. Yeah, he's also looking to pummel the right underhook to come back around for his knee cut. So he gives him that option if he wants it. 
is to go on the legs or to pummel and come back as a knee cut. But he has a good leg position if he really wants to go after it. Yeah, really nice dynamic attack from yeah. Combs. Again, looking for that leg drag. Yeah. Just constantly firing yeah. to beat the uh, beat the line to that hip. Oh, but he's got to be careful here. He has a very good guillotine, as yeah, I this mentioned. Is, this is what he needs. There it is. That thing's on. Oh, wow. Oh, there, there it is. Done. It's that on. was how smooth was that? <laughs> yeah. He just seemed very nonchalant just, well, in looking I mean, that that's up. Sean Combs for you. That, wow. He doesn't get enough credit, I believe, and he's very, very good. And that was a very nice display of some smooth technical jujitsu. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout as a result of a guillotine choke submission, John Combs! Let's take a look at the replays here. This was Combs chasing him all the way to the back. It was the roll that found the, the edge of the bounds. And this was the attempt by Rocha where he scored a single point for that near takedown. But this was where Combs went to work. Look at that beautiful bridge over. Kept the shoulder connected the whole time. And then just over into this arm in guillotine and so confident in his ability. That lovely leg over the back helping him stay attached. Here's John Combs. John Combs, that was a fantastic display of wrestling and jujitsu. Tell me, how does it feel to win up on stage? Man, it feels surreal. This is such a huge event. I mean, I've been... You know, I took this on just a couple days' notice, and you know, I only got to watch Joao. I'm sorry, Joao's little brother. A couple of his fights. You know, I was really, you know, just kind of lost for words. This is great, man. Use my, uh, you know, arm and guillotine to get the win. Feels amazing. Yeah, it, exactly. I, I mentioned on the feed there that you have a tremendous guillotine. It's kind of like a, a just a counter wrestling feed, and you were able to get that victory. But but not only that, you display just the smoothness that you have. Your smooth passing. Uh, it's just a real treat to watch you up here, and uh, uh, I'm really glad that you got to display that tonight on the, on the stage. Uh, any, any anybody who would like to see up get up here on another Kasai? Absolutely, I'd like to face Renato Canuto regardless of what happens tonight. I think that'd make for a really entertaining match. I have to consider him a friend, but I think that me and him uh, we can put on a real show for the people. Very good. Uh, again, your winner, John Combs.